because we've been so good. That's the truth. Because he is. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for everyone here today. Yes. Um, always give praise to God. Oh, yeah. I'm going to teach you on something today that we all guilty of. Mm -hmm. We all guilty. I have to get on my son all the time. <laughs> Talking about his truck. Said, you don't own nothing. Oh, <laughs> no, we don't. We don't own nothing. But we said, you know why we said? Because we were told it. But well, I'm going to show you what the Bible says. That's what I go by, what the Word of God says. Don't you know you didn't bring nothing in? You can't take nothing out. I can understand why Job said that. You came in here naked. You have no clothes on. <laughs> When you came in this world, mm -hmm. and then they had to spank you to let them know you had life. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, yeah. Right. So we've been off so long because of our wrong teaching. We stood. That's all. That's all you is. Mm -hmm. And once we understand that, you'd be much better off. Mm -hmm. Then you'll thank God for what He had blessed you. With. That's right. Take your seat, get your Bible. Amen. You know, I'm guilty. We all guilty. <clears throat> it started at home when mama or daddy would go buy you a gift, bring it to you, give it to you. The first thing you said, This is mine. Mm -hmm. It's mine. Why you think kids, when they have other kids there, they put them all down there? And one of them kids gonna spank everything you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you might well, you know, and we we the same way. Wrong folks, same way. This is mine. This is my car. You don't own nothing. We think we do, but you don't. I'm on, do you believe the word of God? Yeah. Well now this is what I'm going by. And I it's a habit, and you ain't gonna never get away from it. First thing you're going to say, the older Lord done blessed me with a new car. Yes, sir. You're right, because it is. That's right. <laughs> I'm just going to show you some scriptures. And then I'm going to close with the same thought. We don't own nothing. Turn to Psalm 24. You probably done read it. I done read it before. But, you know, um, <laughs> it just don't hit you. Like it should. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh my God. See, once we learn everything, even the breath that we breathe is His. Amen. Now you think it's not, Joe, when He when when He <laughs> when He took and made man, Adam was just there. He didn't have no life in him. <laughs> he breathed in the nostril. Came a living soul. That's why. When you die, the spirit leaves the body. If you save it, go back to who gave it. Yeah. You know, if you never, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Whether you save or not, it's here. But now, when you yeah. got to make a decision where you want to go. That's true. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> You'll get a new body. All right. The folk talking about the sick, the sick and that, yeah. But you're going to get a new one. <laughs> Oh, hallelujah. Y'all got Psalm 24. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read a couple verses here, and I'm going to go take it some way. I want us to know these things because I'm guilty. Everybody I think on this planet is guilty. So that's what they say. What God did when he created everything, who did hand that he put it in? Adam. He gave everything to Adam. Everything he created. Because it was his. You don't take what God got and give it away unless he give you approval. That's right. That's his. That's his. And he's going to let you know it's his. You know the story in, in Matthew 25, talk about the three talents? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, when the master was going away, what he did, he got three servants which yeah. stood. He gave one, two, one, five, one, one. The one with the one do like most folks do not go bury. <laughs> and that's why you ain't got nothing. So if he gonna take that, 
and give it to the one with five. Because he got five more, the other got four. All right? I'm just throwing it out. It's all in the Bible. You know, a lot of people read it. Oh, that ain't for me. Oh, yes, it is. Mm -hmm. I hear people all the time. Oh, I got me a new this and new that. But all this God song. He just letting you use it. Thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Psalm 24. This is what the Bible say. The earth is who? The Lord. Well, if the earth is the Lord, <laughs> what you got? How he just let you use it. Mm -hmm. How he just it. Because he's coming back for it. All of this gone one day. The earth is the Lord in the fullness thereof. The word, the world, and they that dwell therein. That's right. This is what the book say. Hallelujah. <laughs> Little people be hollering. When them tornadoes and stuff hit, they call out of law. No, they ain't never were yours in the first place. That's right. Hallelujah. Thank God for blessing you. Mm -hmm. Everything that God <laughs> created, he wanted his children to have it. That's right. long as you obey him, he'll bless you with it. But see, you you, you can't take it with you. Hallelujah. You, <laughs> all the thing going to go with you is your spirit and your soul. Now, when you going to make your resident to be forever, that's up to you by your life. That's right. Sure. Dead folks can't get saved. Amen. But spiritual dead folks can. <laughs> that's the only way you get back. Mm -hmm. All right? You understand what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to show you. Now, you ain't got to turn to Genesis 1, but it's in there. Saying the same, in the beginning, God did what? Mm -hmm. Created. Yes, he did. Everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When he got through with everything, he had to get somebody to take care of. That's when he made it, created out. Mm -hmm. Put him in the garden, told him what to do. What did he do? Like us do, disobey. And this when all this mess came into the world. One man disobeyed God and it affected the whole human race. Even the atmosphere. That's why sin is so dangerous. That's why God hates sin, but he loved us so. He gave us a way back. Amen. Thank that you, was true. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. That's the last act. Mm -hmm. All right. Now turn to 1 Timothy 6, 7. It's the truth. You ain't brought nothing. You ain't brought nothing. You can't take nothing out of here. Nothing. Can't nothing. Hallelujah. You see, when you go to those funeral, the folks got the big car, they done... Lord, don't let him get. <laughs> they laying up there. So you ain't got to be afraid of dead folks that's dead. But if you're spiritual dead, they're dangerous. And they need to be born again. Hallelujah. A dead, the people about ghosts and hanks. <laughs> ain't no listen. You can, you can, your mind can have you seen something that's, that's right. not that. That's right, your mind. Oh yeah, your mind. Except the date and Satan get in your head. He had you seen, think you seen, you got money and ain't got nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see what First Timothy six seven say? I want you to see it for yourself. I want you to say, oh, the pastor just get up and saying something. I know I own the house now. You don't. You paint on it. <laughs> it's like everything is God. Everything that you ran and the car you ride in, God put the material here to make it. That's right. Everything. Yeah. Medicine, everything. That's right. God put everything here. And he gave man enough knowledge to go out there and get some to help the whole world. That's why he works through people. He yeah. used doctors. That's right. But they had to be trained. Uh -huh. Who do right. you think gave them that knowledge? God. Hallelujah. But see, what we mess up at, we don't. We want to put them ahead of God. You can't do that. Okay. You got to be first. Yes, that's right. You see what the Bible, this is what the Bible, this is what Paul told Timothy. What it said in verse 7. We bought what? Nothing into the world. And it's certain we can't carry nothing out. 
Mm-mm. Now you got all them fine jewelry and stuff. I wouldn't get them in to be taken to the pawn shop. Where? <laughs> Where? <laughs> well, you can't listen. Listen. All a dead person need is to be saved. That's true. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. So you can be with the Lord and all this stuff he got here. It's going to be a new heaven, a new earth. All that going to be new, and you're going to be ranging with him for a thousand years if you accept him as your Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. So now you can go around and tell about, I got, you ain't got nothing. All thing you got is the love of Jesus. Thank you. And you better thank God. He put it in your heart. And he loved. That's all God. He loves us. Now I'm going to take you over here in Psalms. Now, this is not David, this is Asaph. It sounds like David, <laughs> but it's not David. Huh? And, and we, 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 when we understand these things, um, we'd be much better off. This is what <laughs> God is saying to them. ASAP of all the psalms, most of sound like David, but he didn't write them all. Uh, and that's where a lot of people get confused and they think everything is David now. Psalm 90, Moses wrote that one. And, uh, I'm, I'm just going to show us, you know, we need to be taught and, and then you understand and thank God for what he done bless you with. All right? Did y'all hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Psalm 50. Now, this is here. They tried to give God <clears throat> sacrifice <laughs> under the law. That's what they brought. But God let them know he didn't need it. Right. He don't need your sacrifice. He don't even need your money. Everything is his. That's right. And the reason why he set up a system for us to be blessed is <laughs> because he God owned everything. That's right. And he set up things where we can have a blessing. God wants you to be blessed. God don't want you walking around here. Man, you go to some of these stores, now you see the shelves clean. They ain't got nobody to stop them. People don't want to work. Hallelujah. They want, they want that money, but they don't want to work. You got to work. The Bible told the first sign that God gave Adam is the work. He had a job. Hallelujah. And when he fell, then we had it. From then on, the Bible tells you you're going to sweat from your eyebrow. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's in the book. Mm-hmm. Going to work. Hallelujah. Now watch here in verse 8. <laughs> this was God speaking to Asaph. Hallelujah. <laughs> See, God used people. Huh? And I don't know whether you got it in your Bible. You go back to the first verse that it said of Psalms of Asaph. Hallelujah. He was in the music field just like David. Hallelujah. Now this is what the Bible say now. We ain't going to be here long because y'all bills coming on today at 1 o'clock. I want y'all to break your neck looking at that clock. <laughs> I'm going to get you out of here. But you better learn something with this word say and take God at his word. God's word is true, whether you believe it or not. <clears throat> I was listening to Bernice when she was talking about those people. A lot of people don't understand. They don't know what they're saying. Mm-hmm. When she said that lady said she knew I got, 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 got the COVID, mm-hmm. but she brought it on herself. Mm-hmm. What the Bible said, death and life is in your tongue. Yes. Mm-hmm. You got to be careful. Don't you, don't you go around talking about I got it. I ain't got nothing. I'm well. <laughs> but that don't stop Satan from attacking you. No, it don't. But you got the authority over it. See, in, right. the in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, well, that's what people need to come to church to hear the word. Get saved. Hallelujah. Ask the Lord to come into their life. Yeah. Uh, we all out there. I was out there. Hey. Saved, but I ain't perfect. None of us. None of us. This is what the Bible said. This is what God is saying to Israel through Asaph. I will not rebuke, rebuke thee for thy sacrifice or thy burnt offering to have been continued before me. God didn't them know I'm, I don't need that. If I wanted that, I could go get a bull for my own pen. I own everything. 
I'm proud for it, but he's going to tell you that. We don't die, and he's going to tell you. And he's going to let us know what he wants. Don't you know what God wants from us when you get up in the morning and start pooping and hollering about praising? Mm -hmm. That's it. The Bible said everything, give thanks, but not for it, but in it. Yeah. What the Bible said. Hmm. You get up in the morning, oh, I'm hurting. Hmm. If you wasn't hurting, you would be dead. <laughs> well, you got the rock of me. <laughs> my son be walking around in my dead. I don't feel no feeling in my foot. I said, something in there. <laughs> you think ain't nothing in there, you let me get this pen and stick it. <laughs> Or you kick something. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said, he said, God, this is God talking now. He said, I will take what? Verse 9. No, I will no, take no, no bullock out of thy house, no, no, no. not the goat out of your fold. Why? 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 Because you own it already. You own it already. It's his. Ah, did you get it? Yeah. Hallelujah. And he, you ain't got to talk about God. The oh, Lord, I'm going to get already his. Everything is his. Hallelujah, That's right. somebody. That's right. All we got to do praise him. See, under the old law, this what you had there. They gave sacrifice, mm -hmm. bull, goats. But God let them know I don't need that now. <laughs> I don't need it. You let us know what you need. And a lot of folks think, well, I, 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 I paid my tithe. God don't need your tithe. You know who need the tithe? It's mm -hmm. the church. Pay these bills when you want to be cooking chicken mm -hmm. and ham hocks and all of that selling dinners. God own everything. <laughs> he be on everything. Well, he, he, he set up a system that he, we can help somebody else. We don't just take our money and pay tithe. Pay money, you pay bills. You help people. You give people. And that's why when he bless you, don't be selfish. Help somebody. That's right. You ain't got to know who it is. Because as long as you sow and seed, you will have a harvest. That's right. Now, if you sow a few, you can't have but a few. That's right. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. If, you sow, if you sow love, you're going to reap love. Thank if you. Sow, if you sow collard green, you're going to get collard green. If you get a cabbage, then you'd have sowed the wrong seed. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to reap what you sow. That's what the Bible teaches. That's true. That's the law. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, I don't need it. He said, for verse 10 said, for what? Every, every, every beast. Of the fires is who? Mine. And the cows upon what? Thousands. All is mine. Praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, I'm talking to the young ladies here. <clears throat> Thought you told me you couldn't preach. <laughs> you did. You said everything I'm saying. Can't do it no better than that. Unless you want to give us a dog hooping in the island. That ain't preaching. That's having a fool. You saying everything that I say. That's what you learn. That's what our kids. Don't you know when you're sitting now before your kids doing all that crazy stuff? You teaching them to do the same thing. That's right. That's why we got to be a model. Yes. Use a model for Jesus. That's why he said us let our light shine. Your light ain't shining if you're cussing everybody out. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's 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 see what I'm saying? And that's why the world don't respect us. Because yeah. they see too much world in us. Yes, that's right. You're in the world now, but you're not of the world. He done chose you out. You're his. Right. Mm -hmm. Spiritually, you belong to him if you truly born again. And see, folk go around here talking about, I don't know why my child cuss. Yes, you do. <laughs> and he going to tell you one day if you ask him. Uh -huh. Why are you cussing, June? I, I heard you. I heard mom and daddy yep. fussing. That's right. Yep. Mm-hmm. And, and they wouldn't pray. <laughs> what they were doing, June? Cussing. <laughs> and then he's going to know. Now you go, well, I didn't teach you like that. Yes, you did. Oh, we learned them. That's how they learn. <laughs> <laughs> now, verse 11, he said, I know all the fowl of the mountain and the wild beasts of the field of who? Oh, no, that's your, you got a cat home, that's your cat. Uh -uh. <laughs> you need them in the house to help get to keep the mods, though. <laughs> <laughs> but they got, God put him here. <laughs> See what I'm saying? So, now, 
here, now let God let you know now. He, he letting you know now. He's going from a natural, he's going to a spiritual. It all tied up in there. He letting you know. He, he said if I was hungry. Oh. Now that's the, now you know God ain't hungry. Everything is his. And he letting them know if I, if I, I, if I. <laughs> uh, now this is like Jesus was whooping it on Satan. When Satan was trying to get him to bow out and worship him. And he's going to tell him, Jesus, if, if you are the son of God. He knew who Jesus were, but he's trying to get Jesus to bow mm -hmm. to him, to worship him. He wanted Jesus and now show me a miracle. <laughs> I don't have to show you now. He said, man, it is written. Man don't live by bread alone, but yeah. by every word. Yeah, every so now he whooped the spiritual right. side on him. And that's what we got to do. Your that's spirit, right. man, is you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. But you get home with nature, Jesus in the nature. <sighs> He had fasted 40 days, 40 nights. And he's supposed to be hungry. Mm -hmm. But the spirit man wasn't hungry. Right. And that's what you need to do to whoop it on Satan. He's coming after you with everything. Yeah, but yeah. if you know the word, Deuteronomy 8.3 tell you. Hallelujah, somebody. Okay. And when you know the word, that Satan can't handle the word. Mm -hmm. The word is the weapon. Yeah. It cuts. It's cuts. Mm -hmm. You read Hebrews 4.12. Get shot. You want an operation? Get a spiritual operation. Amen. And they ain't got to wake you up. You that understanding, you got to wake you up. And sometimes you might not wake up. You that man controlling that stuff, give you too much like they did me. Dr. Hack me said, uh, have you ever been a boxer? I said, no, why? He said, man, we had a hard time waking you up. I said, you should have never told me that. <laughs> you might not never put no more with me. <laughs> But I got up, thank God. Yeah, so the, God. These, these things, we got to see God wants you to be blessed. Mm -hmm. But don't make no God out of what he didn't bless you with because it is. That's right. Huh? It is. It's his. He owned everything. <laughs> he said, if I were hungry, I wouldn't have tell thee. For the world is mine and the food is there. It's all his. And one day, he going to come back like he said. Read 2 Peter 3, 9 and 10. God is long suffering. You don't know, wish that any should perish, that everybody come to repentance. He said, because today there ain't going to be water. He's going to be fire this time. Huh? It was water during the old day. But when he come back, it's going to be fire. And they ain't no tell talking about call the fire department. Can't put, that fire. Can't put it out. Hallelujah. Oh, no. Hallelujah. So it's on the way back. All the signs is out here now. You see all that stuff going on in the world? It already been prophesied. And it's being fulfilled. They're going to get worse. The Bible said in Matthew 24 in the last days, man hard going to watch cold. Why do you think people can't get along? We in that day. That's you in that. We in it. That means your family member. Your own kids. Wouldn't that day ever get in there? He can change, he change everything if they listen to him. Right. Yeah. You done had all the pain for that booger? Then he turn around and curse you out. Because he's controlled by a different spirit. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. And people don't know, my baby, he got bipolar. Yeah, you get that demon out of him, it'll go. He <laughs> got a demon bowl. <laughs> Now, this is what the Lord said. Verse 13. I will, I will, will I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of, of goats? Now, he's going to tell you in the next verse what he wants. That's what he wants today. All God wants us to thank him. That's it. Praise him for what he already done. Don't, don't get up in the morning to my old Lord. I don't know. I don't know what I want to wear. What I'm gonna wear to church? Where would you walk last night? Mm -hmm. God, they looking at your clothes. <laughs> looking at your house. I bet you get out there and hurt and everything. You come in here naked. It's still gonna hold you. Or you think you come in here, they're gonna heal you. Come in the church, ain't gonna heal you. He already done healed you. But you got to come to church to hear the word and know that you already got your healing. Mm -hmm. And you got to know how to receive it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. That's what you come here for, to hear the word of God. I hope that's what you come here for. If you come here to eat that cake and drink that coffee, I'll stop it. 
ain't no salvation in that. Hallelujah. And a lot of people come for it because they feel it. They did Jesus the same way, but he already knew what he was doing. He followed yes. Jesus along. He was healing, working miracles, and they were there at this party, and the wine and ran out. And the mama told him, go get some jail. <laughs> Make some wine for these people. At a party, they had wine, but not the kind we drank. <laughs> First miracle he worked, because nobody do it with him. You know what I'm saying? He's still working miracles. Amen. Oh yeah. You got up this morning, baby, in your right mind. That's a miracle. Hallelujah. Yes, you think. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God don't want you sick. He said, now, verse 14, this is what the Lord re requires of us. He said, Offer unto God thanksgiving. Pay that vow unto the Most High. And call upon me in the day of trouble. Who will deliver you? I will. But now, now, now you got to do your part. Now you got to do something if you want deliverance. That's right. I got to glorify Huh? Mm -hmm. you, you preach it, baby. I hear you. I'm going to take a walk before you give you 10 cents. <laughs> Said, bless the speaker. <laughs> 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 ah, don't come back here and do that. Don't come back here and do that. Pastor, let me preach again. Keep it up with you. Keep it up with you today. I got a new method. I got a new method. He said, offer unto God thanksgiving. That's praise. That's right. And pay that vow unto who? The most oh, high. Right. And call upon me. Now, he ain't telling you to call me. He didn't call him. That's right. Uh, in the day of trouble, now who's going to deliver you? Yeah. Yeah. Not me. I'm in the same boat you in. Right, <laughs> I will deliver thee and share, and, and thou shall what? Glorify me. me. Give him the praise. That's right. Stop yeah. praising man. They ain't the trouble you out of nothing. They the one cause you to be in the trouble you in. You ain't got no money. You took their money to help them because they lied to you. I'm going to run it right back. They ain't run it back yet. Been a year. <laughs> yeah. For some of so not always God is your blesser. He is your helper. He is your, and he ain't going to give you nothing bad. That's right. Hallelujah. But he will chastise you. Yes, he will. But he ain't going to kill you. He ain't going to kill you. When he kill you, it's time for judgment. <laughs> he chasing us. He dissing us because he love us. Yes. I'm so glad he loved me. Me too. If you love your child, you discipline him when he's wrong. If you don't love him, the Bible says you don't discipline when he need it, you what? You hate him. Yeah, hate him. Hallelujah. Now, he's going to show you all down here what happened to the wicked. See, it's a place for everybody. We're not wicked. We're not perfect. But we follow of him. He done changed us from the inside. Hallelujah. He says here, 16, But unto the wicked God said, What has thou to do to declare my stature, or that thou should take my covenant in thy mouth? Huh? If you're wicked, <laughs> you can't get in unless you repent. Huh? If you repent, he comes to slay the laws on wicked people. Yeah. Hallelujah. You know, you don't want to hear nothing about God until you get sick. The worst person in the world. Look at how them folks was hiding when they thought they had the virus. <laughs> folks down all around them. <laughs> now they want somebody, now they're going to call somebody. Why didn't they call you before they heard about they had virus? Did they call, Bernie, did anybody call and say, <laughs> pray for me when you he got the bad news? They'll see. And that's the way people lie. You don't wait till you get, the Bible said, come unto me. Okay. He didn't say, wait till you get down. So you can't alone. He's the only one who can help you with it. Yoke up with him. That's what Matthew 11, 28, 29, 30 said. Yeah. Can't alone. You can't have it. He, he, don't yoke up to me. Yoke up with him. That's it. That's it. That's it. Hallelujah. Because yeah. he make it plain. My yoke is easy. My burden is light. And you will find rest. To your soul. Come, come on, joke up with me. I'll be the only one can have it. Yes, right. Hallelujah. We walk around and moving and hot. I'm talking about the church. We shouldn't be hollering and going on about what nothing going on in this world. 
Because when you get in your Bible, he already said it will going to be. That's right. You see, but he said, but I overcame the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you the overcomer because of him. That's right. Hallelujah. He said in this world, that's going to be tribulation. That's going to be sickness. That's yeah. going to be diseases. Yeah. That gonna, all of that going to be here. That's right. But he would take his child. He don't put nothing on you. The devil bring it. But we alive because we disobey him. That's right. Now you see what happened to the weekend. Hmm? Uh -huh. Huh? Take my cup and say, seeing thou hatest instruction. Okay. And cast my word behind thee. What you think our children doing? They don't want to hear nothing about God, most of them. Some of your friends. They don't want to hear nothing about God. Uh -huh. All a child. I can't have no fun. Smoking that junk and killing you, whether you know it or not. They don't want to hear till they get where they can't breathe. And they put on the pack. Them cigarettes will kill you. Uh -huh. yeah. Folks thought the lady paying my son said he paid $10 for a pack of cigarettes. Yeah. Uh -huh. And that's why you broke. Uh -huh. <laughs> you won't give God five cents. I'm just trying to help us. You know better. Give God his first. Hallelujah. You can't never be God given. Everything is his anyway. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the book just showed you that. Everything is his. Right. And if you, you, you born again child, everything that Jesus got is yours. We inherit it all mm -hmm. through him. What you gonna do with it? Go out there and give it to the devil. Like a lot of people doing. It ain't all the wicked. It's folks in the church say they love the law. They're worshiping some of them folks out there. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you see, listen, God don't want nobody to go to hell. All this stuff going on in the world today, we, it's happening because the people's allowing it to happen. Yes. And you know who helped the counter? The church. The church. <coughs> Hallelujah. The church. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> so you, you're putting the word behind it. I don't want to hear that preacher stuff. Get on out of my way. Well, you ain't got no pain yet. Wait till you go out the one day, go to the doctor for a check. I say, oh, you got it. Had you had your shot? Now you want two <laughs> shots right then. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But it don't work like that. <laughs> when, thou, when thou saw a thief, then thou contended with him. And had been partaker with what? Adulterous. So you can't hang out there with the world, the world live that way. But he's talking to his children, we're supposed to be different. We've been on that side. Now the Lord's trying to help you to give it up, and he will if you want to. Nothing too hard for God. But if you're practicing that kind of lifestyle, you're going to have problems. We're going to have problems. Sin, sin, God hate all sin. Hallelujah. He hate it. And when you get the knowledge of what you're doing is displeasing him, now, he is your source for everything. The life that you breathe, he breath you can live. And he can take it whenever he get ready. Yes, he can. Right. And they can, hook, they can hook you up to all these little machines. <laughs> that ain't going to work. It'll work for the insurance company. Oh, yeah. They're paying out all that money <laughs> to them people laying it up there. Dead as old dead duck. Huh? Oh, don't take them. Don't take it like my sister when she was laying there. My sister went home. Uh, her nephew went to jump on her. Uh, the grandma had told him, so y'all pull the plug, let me go. He didn't want her. But she was gone. Hallelujah. They hook all that stuff on you. It'll make you look like you breathe. But they touch you, you ain't going to feel nothing. You dead as old dead duck. Hallelujah. But now when Jesus touch you, hallelujah, when he touch you with his power, you will feel something. <coughs> hallelujah. You take a touch, get a touch from him. Hallelujah. So I think about the woman with issue blood, and she just spoke it in her heart, and she touched him with faith. Mm -hmm. And that's what we got to touch him with faith. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Stop going around and hooping and hollering. I'm talking about hooping and hollering. <coughs> hooping and hollering like you don't know who he is. All right. uh, he's your savior. That's right. He the one gonna deliver you. That's what he said. He can't lie. 
Hallelujah. He said, first that he seen, seen thy hated instruction <coughs> and cast my word behind thee. Yeah, you got both right there. Don't hear nothing about that dog stuff. Did he get up one morning and can't hardly breathe? <coughs> See what I'm saying? No, it's all about him. He said, verse 19, Thou givest thy mouth to evil, thy tongue to frame deceit. Lying. God hates lying. Amen. He hates sin. We should hate what he hates. Hallelujah. We should love what he loves. We follow him. We his children. He put in us. We want to imitate him. <coughs> if he tell you to love your enemy, he, he mean for you to do it. Now you can't do it in your strength. Right. But he gonna help you to do it. Why you think he gave you the Holy Spirit? He didn't give you the Holy Spirit to shout. Mm -hmm. He gave you the Holy Spirit that when he bless you, you know you got power now to shout. But he he the one gonna gonna heal you, huh? <laughs> Right here, thy cities and speak against thy brother. Ain't no, is that in the house of God? Anybody got that in their family? Don't raise your hand, cause I know you'll be lying. <laughs> Some of your worst things with family members uh -huh. and them good friends. Uh -huh. See, they don't know. They don't know who you know. They know of him. But you know him if you can accept him as your Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Huh? Thy sitteth and speaketh against thy brother, thy slander thy own mother's son. Mm -hmm. How many kids slander one another? I mean sisters and brothers. Mm -hmm. huh? Kill the arms, slander, they kill one another. Well, what, what happened with, <laughs> with Adam and Jerusalem? Cain killed who? Abel. Why? Same thing now. Jealousy. Jealousy. Yeah. Jealousy. It's the same thing in the world now. Yeah, it is. It all started with what? Sin. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Sin. Because see, if Adam had never failed, that never would have been in the world. True. All that jealousy and stuff okay. come, come from sin. Sure. And we just imitating. <laughs> Our first father, he failed. We failed. We fall to, but Jesus gave you a way back. That's right. Thank you. You gotta trust him to stand. Thank you. You gotta want to stand. You know, all thought the thoughts come to us, but you ain't got to yield to the thought as long as you know the thought not of God. That's right. You got the Bible yeah. says you got power to bring down those yeah. strongholds. Every imagine every imagine every thought that is against you, God gives you the authority to bring it down. That's right. And put it in suggestion in the name of Jesus. Yeah. See, we not we not fight with flesh and blood. This is a spiritual thing. Yeah. And Satan know that. He know when you got it. Don't go around talking about, I got it covered. No, Satan got it covered if you don't know nothing. <laughs> he knows. These things has that done and I kept silent. See, now God ain't going to stay silent forever. No. Oh, no. I remember mama used to put me on hold, but I didn't know what hold was until I got a phone with hold on. I don't want to put on the hold. Man, when she took me off, took off hold, and I'm laying up in that bed like I come in the wood. Like the Bible says, you come in here naked, hot. But she covered me with that rope. <laughs> and I bet you one thing, I didn't shoot no more mob. Don't tell me it don't help. It helped me. <laughs> but she... When she, when she got through with that rope, she told me, she said, listen, don't let me have to tell you no more about how that you marvel in, in that in them church clothes. We had two outfits. Church outfit, they were overall. And them bro, them bro ran, a barefooted. So, <laughs> they didn't play. God ain't playing here. He for real. But he wanted us. It come a time, he's going to bring judgment. Right. Uh, you go around and talk about, well, that ain't, ain't nothing happen yet. Well, you keep on doing, yes. disobeying him. Huh? <laughs> he said, these things has thou done, and I kept silent. Mm -hmm. 
Thou thought that I was all together such as one of thy seven. See, they see people just think we like he see, listen, God is different from us. That's true. He keep his word. Mm -hmm. That's right. See, we're compromised. Mm -hmm. God don't compromise. Amen. You don't both compromise either. If you know a person doing wrong, you can't help them telling them it's all right. The reason why folks do that because they're doing the same thing. <laughs> but I will reprove thee and set them in order before thy eyes. God sets you in order if you listen. If you don't listen, you will. I'm telling you people why. But I, the law told me I can't hit my child. What did God tell you? He didn't tell you that. That's why all the stuff in the world, ride by shooting. Ain't nothing now you hear kid that killed the parents. They do it God's way. And you don't do it God's way, we can do it in the devil's way. And he waiting on you. Hallelujah. Talking. Satan's right in him now. Yep, now. He in here, trying to get in your head. And you putting the word in your heart so you can keep him out. That's it. You meditate on the word. That's Don't meditate right. on what he's saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now watch it. Now consider this. Ye that forget God, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none who will what? Deliver. And now, if God don't deliver you, you ain't getting out. It's true. Obey God's word. Do what God says. I'm talking to me too. See, people when they hear a message like this, they think that, well, he talking about me. If he's talking about you, then the shoe must fat. Mm -hmm. right. well, just, just don't hop. Don't holler. <laughs> Go home and say, Lord, here I am again. Thank you. Forgive me. That's what he wants you to do. You will be confessing and asking the Lord to forgive as long as you get. Yep, not. Yep. Now that don't mean you're doing things out there like maybe they like used to do, and some of it might be, because you need deliverance. He'll deliver you. Yeah. He'll fix it when you don't want to do that. I know. Yeah. But if you got to want it. Hallelujah. You got to want it. God put everything here for us to enjoy it, but make sure He first when you're in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How we treat one another. See, God works through people. Some of your people in your home might not be doing right. Maybe they don't have a relationship. No, no, God. They might go to church. Going to church don't mean you've got a relationship. That's right. You've got to be born again of the Spirit to get in the family of God. Amen. And that's why he uses us that know him to witness. Now, it's a lot of time now you can witness to a lot of people when they get a strike with that virus. You got an opportunity to lead to Christ. Amen. Just because you get the shot, that don't mean you can't catch it. And that don't mean you won't die. That's true. It's a good chance to look, sister or brother. Do you want to live forever with the Lord? Then they ain't gonna know what you're talking about. Then you show them. That's right. If you know, introduce them to the. To, that's what God comes for. He used things like that to bring you to Him. That's right. And He worked through people. See, everybody got you ministering right now. You can go share it with somebody. They might come to church, but they don't know him. And if you ain't been born again, you don't know him. You know of him. But when God really come into your life, you know you've been touched by him. Yes. And see, you start to grow in spiritual like you did naturally. When you were born into this world, you wouldn't send up like that. <laughs> you had to grow to get that. We all. You got to grow naturally, you got to grow up. Now, some people like me, they didn't really get too tall. Tall enough. All right. See, see, you got different sizes, some of them midgets and all that. <laughs> but still, they're here. That's right. right. You don't love that, love the tall, no better do the show. That's right. You love us all. All right. I hope that helps us. So come on out, you chicas. And, be with us on our Wednesday night, Bible study, and everything. God is good. Don't ever forget God. And when you get opportunity to lead somebody, it might be a family member, a good friend. Hey, they might go to church. Going to church don't mean you saved. That's true. Oh, a lot of folks in church. I know a lot of preachers ain't saved. 
That's why the Lord of the Bible talk about false teachers, false preachers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all through the Bible. And that's for real. And that means they can preach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Saying, do all of that. But they don't know the law. Hallelujah. Y'all all right with what we saying? Everybody saved. If you're not saved, you know you're not saved. You can't get saved. You stand and you go wipe your bills. I hear you hollering now. Turn the channel. We're all right. We're all right. Between me and Dave. Between me and Dave. While we absent, we absent. One from another. One from another. Amen. Amen. Amen.